Greetings. We invite the class of 2020 and our City College alumni to join us as we recite the Pledge of Allegiance in Latin. Fidem meam obligo, vexilo civitatium Americae, foderatarum et rei publicae, pro qua stat, uninatione, deo ducente, non dividendi, cum libertate, justitiaque omnibus. Hello again to our City College family and community and the wonderful class of 2020. I welcome you to the 180th commencement of the Baltimore City College. On this day of your graduation, we celebrate the class for more than the successful completion of high school, but for upholding a standard of achievement for yourselves and for the fortitude it took for you to finish. Class of 2020, I want to tell you who you are and what you're capable of based on what you have accomplished. Let us start with your decision-making and your ability to compete. By attending City College, you chose to pursue a learning unique to most secondary schools and one fully aligned with the goals of universities nationwide. Hold on to the fact that you wanted more for yourselves than the basics of education. You had good instinct and you stuck with it. As a collegian, you chose to develop your knowledge by taking on tough courses in the IB or difficult exams in AP or SAT over the years. You accomplished this because you believed in yourselves and you trusted the people and the foundation that stood by you. Next, let me encourage you to focus on the potential of your future because of where you're going and where you're coming from. This class has earned more than $20.3 million in scholarships with acceptances to more than 150 different universities and colleges, some of which are ranked top in the nation. You explored your potential by reaching beyond what's practical and choosing schools and majors that will challenge you. Most impressive, close to 300 of your peers are graduating with you today from our castle, ranked number one in the city and top 10 in the Maryland metro area, according to US News and World Report. In its 2020 rankings release of best high schools, US News scored City College with a 95 out of 100 points. 98% of students graduated well above the state medium, and an average 81% of graduates completed an IB exam. You class of 2020 helped to make this school a success. For many in this class, they accomplished consistently high GPAs and maintained performance, successful performance in all classes and projects over the course of four years. These students have gone above the minimum requirements of a traditional Maryland diploma and have earned the prestigious City College Certificate. These students bear an orange cord as well as this special diploma and deserve our recognition. Going much further in their studies are those students who confronted the challenges of the full IB diploma program, completing numerous international expectations for difficult exams, projects, and service, and the exploratory 4,000-word research paper known as the Extended Essay. These students bear a blue cord and deserve recognition for the pursuit of the International Baccalaureate Diploma. There are others to recognize and thank for consistently working hard to ensure our students have the best education and resources possible. They are the faculty, the foundation of Baltimore City College. Among this group, I also want to recognize history teacher, Dr. Alphonse Nadozi, who this year will retire with 23 years of service in Baltimore City Public Schools. City Class of 2020 embraced the motto, Palmam Qui Meruit Ferrat, honor to the one who earns it. Now more than ever is the time to take advantage of the tools you are provided and the strategies you use to solve problems, explore your creativeness, and communicate understanding of difference. You log countless hours defending your arguments, reading histories, ideologies, and literary classics. You presented findings, shared analysis, justified responses, and performed against international criteria few of your generation or past could envision from a high school experience. As an alumna of this institution, I'm proud of your resilience. I love that you work hard and embrace your cleverness. I value your tenacity in the classroom, on the stage, in the lab, on the court, on the field, in the pool, on the track, and the debate, and even on the sidelines, where seniors like Erica Love, Starla Wigfall, and Liliana Rokita cheered us on to believe in City Now, City Forever. 
More importantly, I like that you felt at home with people like your teachers and friends who encouraged you in a place that rarely ended at dismissal. Class of 2020, I don't want you to see this year as a loss, but as a beginning. Given the circumstances of this new environment where we must confront the realities of racism and the uncertainties of public health, I'm reminding you that you are a brain trust for our city. Young people with a conscience and a vision to do right by others. Young people capable of pursuing their dreams and reaching back to help others. This is the legacy of City College, where leaders are grown. Leaders like Elijah Cummings, who sought justice in high places and never took for granted his beginnings and where he came from. As your soon-to-be fellow alumni, I hope that you reflect on your days at the castle as a special milestone in your life and judge it as a place where you built relationships and found people who cared about you. Remember the diversity of your friendships with people from places and backgrounds much different than your own. Remember those times you laugh with them at the lunch table or travel with them for a team. I hope that when you get to college, you meet more people different from yourselves, that you work together on projects and that you engage in valuable discussions and hopefully learn to live through your challenges. Class of 2020, we want you to enjoy this next journey and be grateful for each day and for each other. City forever. dream to fight the unbeatable foe to bear the unbearable sorrow to run where the brave dare not go trustees of the Baltimore City College Scholarship Fund have distributed hundreds of thousands of dollars in endowed scholarship annual awards to outstanding senior students. Each year, the Baltimore City College Faculty Committee selects recipients of these prestigious scholarships. Congratulations to the following City College Alumni Scholarship recipients. The Baltimore City College Alumni Prize, Grace Pula. Douglas H. Rose Scholarship, Leo Rubinson. 
Edward L. Torch, Class of 1868 Scholarship, Madison Mohan. Israel Krieger Scholarship, Nicholas Johnson. Aaron Strauss Scholarship, Caitlin Holmes. Mary R. Dudley Scholarship to Morgan State University, Kirsten Brown and Kyer Marshall. Joseph Meyerhoff Memorial Scholarship, Sidney Bernstein. Henry C. Wentz Memorial Scholarship, Sidney Bernstein. John C. Wentz Jr. Memorial Prize, Annika Brockman. Corbin Gwaltney Scholarship Prize for the Class Valedictorian, Lindsay Reddit. Sylvan Shane Scholarship, Isaac Sharfstein. Alfred H. Moses Scholarship, Aaliyah Ellerby. Hyman Lefty Stern Athletic Achievement Scholarship, Nayana Rosser. Dr. Edgar F. and Phoebe R. Berman Memorial Scholarship, Ezra Crawford. S. Peter Leibowitz Scholarship, Diamonique Richardson. Dr. Ephraim T. Lisansky Memorial Scholarship, Tanea English. Hyman Coleman Memorial Scholarship, Sasha Gray. Alan B. Snyder and Susan R. Katz Snyder Scholarship, Aaliyah Ellaby. Robert E. Sini Excellence in English Scholarship, Sophia Adams. John F. Stedman Memorial Scholarship, Savannah Wynn. Class of February 1943 Scholarship, Rachel Fink. Calvin E. Tyler Jr. Scholarship, Katie Morales Castro. Campbell Bernstein Leslie Scholarship, Sidney Bernstein. Herb Memorial Scholarship, Natalie Darway. Judge I.H. Robert Hammerman Scholarship, Rachel Fink. Lemuel C. and William M. Dunbar Scholarship, Courtney Dennis. The Deanna and Gerald Stempler Scholarship, Jasmine Kelly. Irving Berman Memorial Scholarship, Emily Shiktian Natani. Hugh P. McCormick Scholarship, Rachel Fink. Lee D. Barron Jr. Scholarships, Naja Akamwale, Anuwalawapo, Boluwaji, Natalie Darway, Aaliyah Hill, Grace Walsh Little, Arian Miller, Mary Joseph Olalele, and Maxwell Smith. Ronald Glantz Scholarship, Bindu Kaba. J.P. Grant Scholarship, Connor Courtright De Leon. Mark D. and Judith L. Copeland Scholarship, Erica Love. Robert W. Schaefer Scholarship, LaShawn Manuel. The Class of 1953, H. John Rippinger Memorial Scholarship, Jessery Darlington. Andre S. Wickham Memorial Scholarship, Itzel Rodriguez. Class of the College Advising Office is proud to announce that the Class of 2020 has been accepted to over 250 colleges and up to date has earned over $20.3 million in scholarships. We would like to recognize the following students who have received scholarships and awards based on their outstanding leadership and academic excellence. The Johns Hopkins University Baltimore Scholars Award winners, Abasola Adusi, David Donnell, Rachel Fink, Yusef Maroud, and Emily Perez Rodriguez. The University of Maryland College Park Banneker Key Scholar, Kiefer Cure. University of Maryland College Park Incentive Award Scholar, Jade Brown. Bowie State University Honors Scholarship, Daniel Futrell. Baltimore, University of Maryland, Baltimore County Chief Executive Officer Scholarship, Kiefer Cure. Robert L. Becker, Junior Class of 1943 Scholarship, Aaliyah Ellaby and Lindsay Reddit. Herbert E. Welday, the third class of 1982 Brotherhood Award, Amar White. Professor Catherine Orange Memorial Scholarship, Nakayan Johnson. The Michael Fuller Honorary Athletic Scholarship Fund, Aaron Williams. Anisha Bowers, 2019 Memorial Scholarship Prize, Tiana Morell. The Miriam Foss Memorial Scholarship Fund, Liliana Roquita. Professor George Petridi Scholarship, Emma Victoria Gutierrez Villanueva. The Swit Scholarship Prize, Kirsten Brown. A Few Good Men Scholarship, Nicholas Johnson. 
UMBC Reed, Berengard Scholarship, Owen Briggs, and Keon Smith Bay. Stanford C. Reed Engineering Book Scholarship, Imani Harris. The Herbert Bung Bergender Jr. Awards, Nikayan Johnson, Jayla McCullough, and Lindsay Reddit. The Gilbert Sandler Speech Award, Michelle Seberg. The Neil Harvey, Harvey Koppel Award for loyalty to BCC publications, Madeline Reeser. We have now come to an important moment in our graduation ceremony. It is the custom at the Baltimore City College to perform the turning of the ring. But before we do so, I ask each of you to look at your ring and reflect on your years at the Castle on the Hill, the varied experiences that have brought you to this day. Please stand. With your left hand, remove your ring from your right ring finger. Turn it and place it back on your finger so that the castle now faces your heart. Pa mom qui meruit ferat. Wear it proudly as you've earned it. You are now officially Baltimore City College alumni. This is not how we wanted your high school career to end, but we are all stronger because of it. Congratulations, class of 2020. I love you all, city forever. Baltimore City College is a college prep school. Throughout our days, we always questioned whether it was worth coming to City and joke about transferring to Merva. While some do, the majority of us stick it out. If I was at City, then I do not know where else I would be, honestly. The coursework is a lot and the classes can be very stressful. 
If you decided to go full IB, then you probably lost a lot of sleep, but it ended up being worth it when you got the grade that you wanted. It was a constant battle to be full IB and a student athlete, especially when your extended essay was not complete and you were a student like myself that loves to talk. As someone who was involved in other clubs like debate, intercambio, and others, I definitely learned how to manage my time, which is a skill I will use for the rest of my life. I started to have hope when I heard graduates come back to City College for nights at the round table and tell me it would be worth it. They would say, college is easier than City. City prepared me well for college, or I got credits for taking IB classes. At first, I did not believe them. When the previous classes kept saying the same thing, I started to warm up to the idea. While on a trip to Costa Rica, I was speaking with a teacher from the park school about our schedule. And she looked at me in disbelief and could not believe we were receiving, we were receiving that much work. At that moment, it confirmed to me that City pushes their students more academically. As a student that will be attending Villanova University, I looked at some of the classes they were beginning to put on my schedule. And the requirements were things I had already learned at City. I knew I had been well prepared. While City can be a lot academically, it was worth it because we, we will be well prepared for, what, for whatever college we will be attending. This is important because knowledge is a certain type of power that no one can ever take away from you. As a black woman, the only thing some people see about me is the color of my skin and my gender because I do not have the privilege to separate the two. It can be very disheartening and upsetting that black people cannot jog down the street like a Maud Arbery, get a traffic routine, get a routine traffic stop like Sandra Bland, be arrested like George Floyd or Freddie Gray, relax in our homes like Breonna Taylor, or do any other normal activity like our white counterparts without dying in the process. But my knowledge gives me the upper hand to be aware of how the world treats black people and ways to change it. My knowledge allows me to be in spaces like my predominantly white college where little black girls are not normally allowed or able to be. While I may not have the resources to do certain things, my knowledge opens doors and opportunities that my resources may not. My knowledge is one important aspect of what City Forever means to me. Another aspect is the social network and reputation that it creates. City Forever also encompasses the experiences that we had in the building that we will carry forever. From these experiences, we have made lifelong friends and grew into the young adults we are today. We are able to connect with other alumni to obtain employment, start businesses, nonprofit organizations, and other opportunities because they know the type of person that City College produces. City creates such an impactful experience that it makes generations of families attend the school. I remember when I first saw my cousin, Mia Miller, as a drum major in City's marching band and cheer her on from the stands during a City Poly game. I remember my late uncle Meredith brother sharing his memories from City and always showing me his ring. Their pride in City made me know I had to attend and that made me so excited. I remember how proud my uncle was when he found out that I was accepted into City. Moments like these are what make City a truly unique place and why we shout City forever because it will truly be forever and always in our hearts. Finally, I would like to thank my teachers that listen to me rant about my day after school or talk about random topics in class, my friends that I always joked and debated, and my family that always supported me because they have helped shape me into the person that I am today. Thank you. City forever. I think sometimes as members of the City College community, we hear these words so much that we don't take the time to consider what they stand for. I mean, have you ever been listening to the announcements in second period and taken a moment to ponder the saying? I know I haven't. But as I began to contemplate it for this speech, I reflected on what City has meant to me over the years, the ways in which it has changed me, and most importantly, the ways in which it will stay with me. I came to City a young ninth grader from a private school who, in all honesty, had no idea what to expect. Sure. I had heard great things from my older sister who had graduated the year before and my parents who sang City's praises, but I myself was uncertain of what was to come. The huge building with long hallways that I somehow managed to get lost in despite it being a simple rectangle was daunting in and of itself. Classes with 30 kids or more were completely foreign to me. And of course, this weird IB program which set City apart was confusing and intimidating. But after my first day, these worries slowly started to dissipate. The students I was meeting were happy, lively, and excited. As we began to get to know each other, 
and over the first few weeks of school, it became clear that I could always count on the cheerful bustling before first period math to brighten my mood. Classmates who I hadn't even met formally would include me in their pre-class antics or ask me how I was doing that morning. After a week-long trip, I returned to have countless people, some of whom I hadn't even learned the names of yet, ask me how my trip was, if I had enjoyed myself. All this to say, City was an extraordinarily welcoming place, and as such, my trepidations quieted. As they faded, they began to be replaced, this time by gratitude, friendship, and happiness. Academically, City is an amazing place. The tenets of the IB program, which influence so much of what we do, make the education at this school one of a kind. But more than that, the teachers who dedicate their time and energy to us and our education make City what it is. I have never met more caring and passionate teachers than the ones here at this school. Not only have they taught me English, math, history, anthropology, science, and Spanish, they have taught me what it means to learn. They have taught me to accept that I can and will struggle with things and that I can continue improving despite that. They have taught me that there is value in enduring through things that I don't like or don't think I'm good at and pushing myself to grow. They have taught me that it is hard work and perseverance that matter in this world, not the number on a test or report card. It is these things that will serve me and all of us as we begin our next journeys. Beyond academics though, City has taught me so much. I've learned how to work with others, how to collaborate, compromise, and cooperate. I've learned how to manage my time and work independently. I've learned how to laugh and not take everything too seriously. I've learned the value of true friends, how priceless it is to have people you can always count on and who will always be there for you. I've learned from those same friends that sometimes listening is the most important thing you can do for someone. I've learned that appreciating the small things, like jokes in the hallways between classes, can be the difference between a good day and a bad day. So that is what City has taught me and what I'm sure it has taught all of you too. But it is the second part of our saying, City Forever, that reveals the true value in all of this. It is the enduring nature of these lessons that City will remain with all of us as we journey through life. When we succeed and when we struggle, when we are overjoyed and when we face conflict, all that we have learned from our school will be with us. This is why we say City Forever, to remind ourselves that while we may only spend four years in the castle on the hill, the ideals of City will be a part of each and every one of us forever. Presenting the graduates of Baltimore City College, class of 2020. Leah Abid. Sophia Adams. Abisola Adusi. Julissa Aguilar Reyes. Naja Akinwale. Ayana Allen. Denise Alvarez. Ashanti Anderson. Christian Ansel. Samaya Ashby. Daniel Bailey, Cora Bainham, Ariel Belbasa, Jalen Barnes, Destiny Barnett, Danielle Bassarat. Maud Bennett, Sydney Bernstein, Charles Blackwell, Arabia Blake, Anuoluapo Oluwaji, Kyra Bonner. Erica Boots, Jabari Bola, Owen Briggs, Michael Brinkley, Annika Brockman, Jade Brown. 
Jalen Brown. Kirsten Brown. Marlon Brown. Halima Brunson. Jordan Burden. Zena Burr. Janae Caldwell, Taylor Calvin Grimes, Isaiah Carey, Michael Carmen, Dominic Carrington, Aliana Ceruti. Jalisha Chapman, Sydney Chase, Ayodele Click Scales, Misha Collins, Sherlyn Condado Amador, Brittany Cooper. Kayla Courtney, Kevin Kowser, Rodney Covington, Ezra Crawford, Luke Kramer, Raina Cruz. Kai Cummings, Evan Cunningham, Jonay Cunningham, Kiefer Kure, Kaishe Curtis, Eric Cuthrell. Nirvana Darden Jessery Darlington Natalie Darway Daisha Davis Clara Dawson Connor De Leon, Taya Delgadio Lawrence, Courtney Dennis, David Donald, Nadele Donkmo, John Donnelly. Deja Dorsey, Akaya Duppins, Davon Edwards, Hassan Edwards, Talia Edwards, Makai Elo. Aliyah Ellery, Kimberly Elvio Maldonado, Tanea English, Caleb Ezra, RJ Fair, Rachel Fink. Gina Fitzgerald, Jayla Ford, 
Alton Foreman, Daniel Futrell, Tina Gaynor, Kantura Gaines, Christian Garcia, Ayla Garrison, Angus Gatlin, Brianna Gibson, Takira Gibson, Dejour Gladney, Raekwon Glover, Adelene Gonzalez. Gonzalez Rodriguez, Kenneth Good, Sophia Govia, Ayana Graham, Jewel Grant, Sasha Gray. Dashira Gray Ward, Autumn Grayson, Julia Greason, Savannah Green, Tyler Green, Grant Green. Victoria Grenia, Kayla Griffin Randall, James Gerthet, Brandon Usman Sanchez, Theodore Halligan, Julia Harrington. Imani Harris, Jaleel Harris, Nathaniel Harris, Winia Harris, Devontae Harrison, Sonoya Hay, Harris. Haynes, Aliyah Herbert, Raja Herman, Gonzalo Hernandez, Aliyah Hill, Caitlin Holm, Quinn Howard. Hubbard, Sonia Huh, Kirsten Hunter, Keith Jackson, Kevin Jennings, Aaron Johnson. Kristen Johnson, Nakayan Johnson, Nicholas Johnson, Jordan Jones, Tiana Jowers, Bindu Kaba. Zachary Cannon, Diamond Kelly, Jasmine Kelly, Ifalade Kiyama, 
Nakaya King, Ashley Kreller, Naima Lantian Edmonds, Makinde Laveau, Cheyenne Laverne, Jade Leach, Denasia Lee, Jaden Lee, Latrell Leverett, Rihanna Lomax. Erica Love, Terrell Madison, Nair Manny, LaShawn Manuel, Yusef Maru, Kaya Marshall. Monte Martin, Latasia Martin, Myra Matthews, Anton Mayo, Beatrice McAleer, Jayla McCullough. Kayla McLeod, Edward Mendoza Larios, Arian Miller, Giassi Mitchell, Madison Mohan, Tadeo Mojado. Sierra Moore, Jahi Moore, Jasmine Moore, Maya Moore, Katie Morales Castro, Tiana Morell. Jasmine Moreno Garcia, Joseph Matavale, Benjamin Muir, Zariah Murray, Tavon Meyer. Anaya Nicholson, Mary Joseph Olaleye, Christian Morella, Tyler Orr, Dylan Owens, Rihanna Pack. Alik Palmer, Taylor Parker, Alexis Hartlow, Miles Patrick Smith, Eric Patterson, Kirsten Pearson. Emily Perez Rodriguez, Lillian Perez Shear, Aliyah Phelps, Jalen Filson, Jayla Pittman, Grace Pula. 
Alfredo Ramirez. Lindsay Reddit. Eleanor Redgrave. Madeline Reeser. Ayana Rice. Dominique Richardson. Dion Richardson. Alejandro Rivera Diaz. Ananda Roberts. Robinson. Tyree Robinson Ross. Aracel Robles Juliana Roquita Katera Roman Diana Rossi Leo Rubinson Kiera Ruffin Kelly Russell Jennifer Samaniego Cayo Harriet Scott Malia Scott Michelle Seabird Kaba Selly Catherine Schechter, Emily Shigantani, Andriel Sims, Sean Sims, Greta Simpson, Kiara Slater. Anya Smalls, Jaya Smith, Maxwell Smith, Keon Smith Bay, Alan Stallings, Margaret Stoudemire. Ajay Stanet, Haley Sutton, Isabel Taylor, Ethan Terrell, Jayla Thompson, Sarah Tillman. Aiden Torrance, Trinity Trahan, Tyree Utzi, Lois Vasquez, Alkeo Ventura, Kate Ventura. Emma Victoria Villanueva and Elise Villieres Grace Walsh Little Edwin Ward Lamar White Destiny White Faith White, Jaquil White, 
Starla Wakefall. Aaron Williams. Daisha Williams. Jermel Williams. Sky Williams. Trisha Williams. Michael Wilson. Tyshawn Wilson. Anna Wynn. Joshua Winston. Demetric Witherspoon. Isaiah Yarborough. DeAndre Young. Devontae Young. Anjali Yupa. Sandra Zaragoza Cardoso. In recognition of the records and achievement of the students of this class, and by virtue of the authority vested in me as principal of the Baltimore City College, I certify that these students have met the graduation requirements of both the Baltimore City Public Schools and the Maryland State Department of Education. I take pleasure in recommending to you the graduating class of 2020. Acknowledging the certification and the recommendation by the principal and by the authority vested in me as Chief Financial Officer, I take great pleasure in presenting to you the graduating class of 2020 for the conferring of diplomas. Ladies and gentlemen, I now have the honor of presenting to you Dr. Darrell Brooks, Baltimore City School Board Commissioner. In recognition of the certification of these graduates, the recommendation of the principal, and the acknowledgement of the Chief of Schools, and by virtue of the authority vested in me, as Commissioner of the Baltimore City School Board, I take pleasure in accepting the graduating class of 2020 for the conferring of high school diplomas. Eternal. 